Well, good morning. Welcome to John's gym. This is the first week of the online classes. <coughs> My name's Anthony or Tony. I'm taking you for a yoga class this morning. It's a dynamic vinyasa class. So, have a mat, have some room around you. You've got a couple of blocks, perhaps. I've got a blanket that I'm sitting on. We can use that as a prop as we go. Um, towel, perhaps. So, just begin just like sitting here. And to vinyasa class, I just a bit of, if you're new, take modifications, have a rest if you need a one. Keep yourself safe. So come to your breath. This is vinyasa. If you inhale and you observe your chest expanding, belly, shoulder blades, that's vinyasa. That's one. Exhale, contracting and observing. So we're breathing and observing the breath. And then we add asanas to this, this vinyasa. As we go, when we, in yoga, we, we bend forward, bend backwards, sideways, we twist, we balance, we take that in standing positions, we do it seated, we do it on our back, on our front, on our side, we twist, um, we balance, um, and we invert. So we do all of that. We also add to that, there's pumping actions, which is like up dog and down dog. We do like jumping to create more strength and stability, sort of floating, I'll talk about as we go perhaps. And we have weight-bearing exercises, so <clears throat> you know, arm balances, perhaps handstand, headstand in time, perhaps. It's primary for the health and maintenance of the body's life. So have that attitude this morning. And if you're want to attain something like perhaps you can't touch your toes, don't think that there's a, that's a goal, perhaps. Give that less importance and just give the importance of being here on the mat, <clears throat> the importance for the practice. Enjoy yourself, have fun, take a rest. I'll give a lot of modifications here. Let's begin by standing on top of that with that breath. My hip being dropped up there, I think. So you're standing on top of your mat, come to your breath. Observing the breath. Lower abdomen, just engage it slightly in and up. And smile at yourself. As you do this, perhaps there's awareness of the pelvic floor. Lifting slightly. So this practice is part of something like Ivanka Sadhana, which means from Sanskrit, external practice. And this we do with the asana, what the postures, you know, this engagement here is called Bandha and you know, observing the breath. A few other things we add to that in the practice. And this moves us. To, you may know yogis who sit and meditate and the world now mindfulness is quite big. So wherever you are, take an exhale, we'll start slowly. A medium flow pace, create some heat in the first 20 minutes or so, perhaps. Exhale together. Inhale, raise your hands to the ceiling, engage your thumbs. We'll do sun salutes here. Ribs in, exhale, fold forward, hands and face to these thighs, shins, ankles, or the floor if that's available. Inhale, rise, extend your heart forward, give your bone back, and exhale, hands to the floor. You can walk or step or float or jump perhaps in time, coming to the floor for the first one. You know, come to this cobra pose, engage quads and belly, and exhale, your knees back to the floor, you see your heels, and into a down dog, just your hands and feet, spread your fingers, bring some weight to length your fingers, bend your knees, take pressure off your back. Perhaps you straighten your legs, broaden your shoulders. A couple more breaths here, listening to the breath. Exhale, put that in front of your back. Perhaps you bend your knees and forward. Inhale, walk or step or jump. Perhaps those already done practice as you lengthen. Exhale, fold. To your full fold. Inhale. Rise to standing, reach your hands to the ceiling, gaze your thumbs, and exhale. Just a couple of times. Inhale, Udva Hasasana, raise hands, ribs and belly in, lower belly. Exhale, forward fold into Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands to the floor, step or jump back. This time, maybe in this push up position called Chaturanga, and inhale to up dog, shoulders back, knees off the ground, belly and pots engaged. Exhale, lifting hips, come into the down dog. That's adjust the first breath. 
So you're listening to your breath. Lower abdomen slightly drawn in. And you gaze out of your nose. A couple more breaths here. Last breath. Exhale, prepare it from top of your mat. Maybe bend your knees. Inhale. As you lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Reaching hands to ceiling as the thumbs. Exhale, summer city. Again, inhale, the breath. Inhale, observe the breath. Exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Inhale, rise. Heart forward, keep the back, back some length in the front of your body. Exhale, walking, stepping, jumping perhaps. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing. Perhaps you've got a cover in there for the floor if you need a one. At any time, perhaps you like to go child's pose if you need to take a rest through practice. Let me rejoin the group at your own time. Four, one more breath here. Exhale, prepare to come top of your mat. Inhale, walk a step, jump, float. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise against the ceiling, base the thumbs. And exhale, front stick. So you're going to be. Inhale, bend knees. And coming to this chair position, we put the tusk of fist pose. Heads together apart. Exhale, fold forward, back to the Uttanasana. Let's fall, fold. Inhale, rise into the half fold. Exhale, walk, step, or jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, Upa Mukha Savasana, upper facing bow. Exhale, Ardha Mukha to down bow. You step your right foot forward, so round your left heel. Inhale, step your right foot to Warrior One. Rivadrasana, raise your hand, face front. Exhale, back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Upa Mukha Savasana. Exhale, Ardha Mukha, downward facing. Head, inhale, left foot steps. Round right here, right foot forward. Exhale, 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 inhale, and exhale. Down dog. Maybe adjust your hands, <coughs> spread fingers. Have some weight in your finger legs. Broaden your shoulders. Your legs are straight, perhaps you internally rotate your thighs. And check your sitting bones towards the ceiling, relax your heels towards the floor. Last breath. Exhale, prepare from top of your mat. Inhale, walk step, jump to the top of your mat as you lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, come back to put the in the feast position here, and exhale, summer sit. Again, one more time, inhale. Exhale, exhale. With the breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Or on the right side. Inhale. Inhale. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Left side, bit of a grassland. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right breaths. Spread fingers. Spread toes. Listen to your breath. Four. Inhale for five. Exhale, prepare. Inhale, lift. 
Look, say, jump, drop, body, drop your back. Exhale, hold. Inhale, bend knees, look at the kasana. And exhale, samasthiti. Take a little step and drop your back. I'm coming to look at the kasana, bending knees, hands up, they can be apart, or fingers together. Belly in, a little bit of tucking top, but not too much, so it's natural curvature of the spine. Three, two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, folding forward. Make sure you hand to the floor. Pray for the customer. A little balance on the hands, perhaps. All you do is bring your weight in your hands and get some variations here. Feet together, knees apart. Knees in the back of your triceps. Looking forward, that can be it. Perhaps you raise your feet here. If you're comfortable there, straightening your arms, lifting. Those that are up, four more breaths. Look forward rather than down. Engage belly. And one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower your feet to a walk step. Or jump back to Chakaranga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale to down dog. Don't worry, one right side of the ground, your left heel. Inhale. Step your right foot, raise hands. Five breaths here. So you get the outside of your foot is to the floor, run wrong down the inside. Your left hip forward, belly in, shoulders broaden, reaching hands, perhaps gazing up your thumbs, a couple of breaths. Inhale, open up warrior two. So you open the hips, feeling toe slightly longer stance, gazing your little finger right at him. Belly in. Shoulders are relaxed. And you lean towards that little toe. I feel like hips are nicely opening here gently. Two more breaths. So you're gazing at your middle finger. You're listening to your breath. Your lower abdomen being engaged. Just brings your focus in. Not thinking about other thoughts other than this practice. On your inhale, straighten the front leg. You can shorten your stance, perhaps. Come into the nice and triangle pose. So reach, you put your hand on your thigh, chin, ankle, maybe one your big toe. Yeah, it's comfortable for you. Bring your shoulders back, turn your heart up to the ceiling. Four more breaths here. Extend your heart forward. Perhaps you look up the hand. Yeah, maybe you need to look at the floor. Or perhaps your hand is higher. On the breath, if you're looking up, when you exhale, you can look down, so it'll help you balance. Inhale, rise. You're going to widen the stance, back to the right stance. Exhale, bend the knee towards your little toe for extended sliding pose. So elbow and knee, reaching your hand, broadening of the shoulder, turn the palm down. Option, bring your head onto the floor, to a block, and reach. Two, three more breaths. Turn your heart up to the ceiling. You can look under your armpit. Perhaps towards your hand. Last breath. Out of the rust. So exhale. Look down. Those both hands either side of that front foot. Slide your rear leg up a third. Your right hand forward and slide it to your right. Left hand on hip. As you engage, take both legs. Turn your hip to the ceiling. Hand to the ceiling. You can up, up your hand perhaps. You can balance here. If it's too challenging for you. You come back to. Triangle pose, otherwise staying in Ardha Chandrasana. Couple more breaths. So your hip is up, your left hip. Another breath. On exhale, lower that left hand. Square your hips, point your toes to the floor. So both hips are the same height of the floor. But raising your hand. Karavita Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale. Raise your left right hand. Look up at your right hand, perhaps. Keep that leg up, the leg up. Flex, extend your heel back to the wall behind you. Another breath. On your exhale, your exhale, lower your hand in the front leg, step long, back into a lunge. Inhale, rise. Keep front leg bent. You place your hands behind your back for bound warrior. 
exhale, fold forward. Reach your heart forward. Perhaps your knee comes to your, your shoulder comes to your knee, or perhaps deeper, perhaps reaching forward. Strong rear leg. One more breath. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. Gently lower your rear knee to the floor. Rotating version of the extended side of your base. So inhale, raise your hands to the ceiling. Left hand. Exhale, left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Hands in prayer position, perhaps. Turn your heart up to your hands. This can be nice. Perhaps you straighten your rear leg. Your hand on the floor. Maybe your hand to the ceiling. Maybe extending forward. Or just coming into this position. Twist. Three more breaths. Last breath. On your exhale, look down. Release both hands to the floor and step back to Chaturanga. Inhale, up, up. Exhale, down, up. All that on the left side. So building the heat. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Warrior one. Hands to the ceiling. Come to your breath. As I said, outside the edge on the floor rather than rolling in and closing of the hip. Front knee, not more than parallel, so above parallel. Front thigh, inhale, exhale, warrior two. Opening hips, widen stance, come to warrior two. Black shoulders, draw about low abdomen again. Another breath, come into triangle pose. When you're following, inhale, straighten the bent leg, shorten your stance if you choose. Exhale, reach and lower, hand to the ceiling. Turn your heart up to the ceiling. Extend your heart over that right, that side, the left side. You may need to move your mat perhaps to see your screen. Some of my course is all new for some of us. Another breath. Exhale, perhaps you look down, strong legs. Inhale, rise. Wide stance, extend the side angle pose. Exhale, bend, elbow and knee. Reach, worn shoulders. Arm down, turn your heart up to the ceiling. Take your hand on the floor on the other side, do it on this side. Three legs engaged strong. A little rest coming up after the side. We're feeling this heat, preparing your open, body to open up. Of course, building strength, stability. Another breath. On exhale, look down. Slide your rear leg up, balance number three. Place your left hand forward, slightly to the left. Your right hand onto your hip. Inhale, engage. And tip to the ceiling, hand to the ceiling, we'll do your modification. Perhaps you look at the floor, perhaps towards your head. The raised leg is flexed, so pointing towards the screen if you're facing that way. Another breath. So I'm just giving you views from this position here. Exhale, lower that raised hand. So it'll be that raised hand, lower, lower your left hip, sorry, right hip, inhale, raise your left hand. Rotating version. Look at the floor, up to your hand. So here the heart reaches forward, hip back. The balance varies from day to day, strength, draw your abdomen in. Inhale, exhale, lower that hand, bend the front leg and step long back into a lunge. Keep the front leg bent. Inhale, rise, you place your hands behind your back, maybe the other way, or bound warrior. Exhale, fold forward. Hold your breath, engage your abdomen, strong rear leg. 
Show you two more breaths. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. Gently lower that rear leg to the floor. Raise the hand on that rear leg side. Exhale, rotating version. Nice version to be. Extend your elbow to the floor, hands to your heart. If you raise your leg on the other side, do it here. Turn your heart up to your hand. So you give enough perspective on it. So turn your heart, extend your heart forward. Any options, leg raised, hands options. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale down. Press both hands to the floor. And step back to Chaturanga. Inhale up with facing dog. Exhale down with facing dog. Lower your knees. And just looking here because you'll have your head down. So you're going to bring your forearms on the floor. Arms pale, perhaps wave your hands closer together, bring your shoulders. Or dolphin pose, and tuck your toes under. Then you lift your hips, and this could be it. Perhaps you walk your hands in. If available, you can raise one leg, hold for five breaths. I'll do this leg here. Don't raise your hip, have your hips same height as the floor. We'll hold, then we'll lower, and then raise the other side. So I'll get through it. Come onto your knees, hands. And then inhale, tuck your toes under. Exhale, down dog. Lower your elbows to the floor. Perhaps this is enough. Walk your feet slightly in. Raise one leg. Keep it straight. Lower that hip of the raised leg. Open the shoulders. So rather than bring your heart towards your thumbs, away, lifting. Three, two more breaths. Hold it up, straight leg. Lower that hip. Inhale. Exhale, lower that foot. Raise five more breaths. There'll be a break here shortly. Engage. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Hold that leg up. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Knees. Cut the child's pose. Put your breath. Observe the ribs expanding, shoulder blades expanding, the belly. <coughs> Excuse me. One more breath. Inhale, rise up to your hands again. Take your toes over. Slow you down, get down. Inhale. Exhale. Down up. Walk your hands to your feet. To a forward hold. Paranustasana. So it's, if you can't hold your toes, or maybe you just hold your elbows. To a forward hold. Feet hip with the puck. Your shoulders towards your hips. Your heart towards the floor. Pubic bone up to the ceiling. Sitting bones. Widen, so it's narrowing the front. And city man's jacked to the ceiling. Another breath. You're holding your elbows, just swap your elbows around. Hold your big toes. You can place your hands underneath the Baragostasa, the Parahastasana here. Inhale, rise, lengthen, heart forward. And exhale, once again, hold the deeper, perhaps. Yeah, the knees can be bent, they pressure your back. Or you're holding your elbows. Another breath. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, raise your hands to your waist. Another balance here. Inhale, rise. Reach your hands to the ceiling. Start to pause your feet. You can forward or up. Five breaths. Put the back of your mat down. Belly in, shoulders broaden, legs are engaged. Three, 
Two more breaths. And exhale, lower your heels, lower your hands. Step your leg forwards into your screen. Outside edge, your feet parallel to each other. Bend to your waist. Inhale, raise your hands to your ceiling. Eyes lift apart with the muscle. Just straddle, form fold. Exhale, fold forward, hands, thigh shins. If available on the floor, if available, fingertips like your toes. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. All those in, so they're in line with your wrists and shoulders. Some weight forward with your heels to avoid the balls of your feet. Lengthen the back of your neck. Lengthen your heart. Do four of these today. A light internal rotation of the thighs, a widening of the sitting bones, and a lifting of the sitting bones to the ceiling, lower your heart. On your inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, hands to your waist. With the breath, inhale, rise. Raise hands to the ceiling. Version C. For the second one, exhale, bring your hands behind your back. You place your fingers. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Once again, some weight forward with your heels. Fundamentals outside edge of your feet are parallel to each other. And your belly drawn in as you relax your hands away from the sore back. Fix up the five. Bend knees perhaps. Take pressure off your lower back. Inhale, rise. And exhale as your hands to your waist. Come into version D. Inhale, heart to the ceiling. Exhale, fold. Your hands on your thighs, shins, ankles, perhaps fist fingers wrapped with your toes. Just listen to your body. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, just on the elbows slightly out and slightly back. Shoulders to your hips, heart forward, back your neck long. Slight narrow in front of the hips, your legs are straight. The lifting of the sitting bones, the widening of the sitting bones. One more breath. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, lift your hands to your waist. Inhale, rise. Reach your hands to the ceiling for version E. Exhale, bring your hands out to the side. Put your palms back. Bring your hands into a prayer position behind your back. That's challenging, just grab your elbows, last four fold, inhale, rise, and exhale, fold forward. Lengthen your heart. Sit to lengthen front of your body rather than rounding. Shoulders opening, we kill fold fold. Couple of breaths. Inhale, rise. Exhale, and that's what tea. Inhale, step off your mat. Sort of sticky. Coming to the floor. So inhale, raise your hands to the ceiling. Face your palms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise. Lengthen forward. Exhale, you know, walk, step, you know, jump, float back in your own way to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. And come top of your mat seated. You know, easy, one way, one leg, the other. You sit, sit up tall. Watch this blank sitting here. So you're going to crack this as you're sitting here in Dandasana, hands by your waist, stand up. You're going to create this anterior tilt of your hips rather than posterior tilting, a tallness. So sitting on a blanket, just on the edge, rolling. You can use a block here. Bearing forward fold. Your thighs roll in, so your knees are to the ceiling. On your inhale, reach for your shins or ankles, if available, your toes. Look forward, half forward. Lengthen back your necks, the top of your head's reaching, and exhale to your forward fold. Perhaps your hands on your knees, shins. 
to full power. So any more in this flake little block that you see on perhaps is a jacking of the sitting bones back away from the heel, away from back your knee, lengthen the hamstring here. The two thirds of the forward fold is here, then it's compression, and then the rounding of the spine. On your inhale, rise. Repeat, we'll go deeper. Exhale, hands on the outside of bind, to the forward fold. Inhale, rise. Internally rotate the thighs to get your feet rather than your little toes forward, your big toes, like there's a wall in front of you. you do this not at the ankles, but at the hips as they rotate or fold. Last breath. Inhale, rise, halfway. Exhale. Do you remove your prop? Between these asanas, we do just a little bit core strength exercises. So looking here, just for six vinyasas, there's three breaths, hands by your waist, and you're going to draw your hips back and up and hold here. Just give it a go the best you can. Maybe you just draw back, maybe you lift up an inch. You can have blocks here as well if you choose. Inhale, and back it up. Exhale, one. There's two more breaths here. Inhale. Try to straighten your arms, belly in. So you're not here lifting, you're going to draw them back. Exhale, lower down. Move your props to have. If you use stretch in the front of the body, so bring your hands behind you, raise your heart, which can be enough, perhaps. If you choose look where your knees are, bring your heels where your knees are, come into a tabletop, or come into a full special of Purvottanasana as you raise, bring straight to the ground. So a few more breaths here. Thumb and index finger to the floor, open shoulders, heart lifts to the ceiling. If you can look forward and look up the back. Two more breaths. Thighs roll in, whichever position you're in. Last breath. So when you're ready, look forward, inhale and exhale, lowering down. Once again, building core strength again, so you're going to perhaps use your blocks. Just on one leg will raise, or both. Sorry, or both will stay on the ground. So inhale, back, up, exhale, one. Couple of breaths here. Try and straighten your arms. Belly's engaged, strong. Exhale, lowering down. So we're building this core strength. Jung Shasana. So, sitting Dandasana, bending your right knee and open. You can bring it to the floor, perhaps any pain, bring a block or a blanket underneath. For example, reach for your knee, shin, ankle, foot. Extend your heart forward. Inhale, exhale to your fourth fold. Could be a little bit, a lot perhaps, perhaps you bind even. A few more breaths here. So your navel towards the straight leg and your knee away from the navel. So make that the priority of opening that hip. Got a lot of forward folds already. And the second priority perhaps the folding of the foot, of the, of the straight leg. One more breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale, draw the knee in and extend. And you move your front. So I'm going to cross your legs. Roll over onto your knees. You're preparing for the last one. So <clears throat> your knees narrow. So narrow in this way. Sitting on heels. You lose that lower leg. It will help you lift. You're going to exhale, fold down, engage, draw, suck your belly up, hands halfway between your knees and your hips, approximately. Your rear heel into the backside, with your sitting bone, opposite side, inhale, lift, look forward, try and straighten your arms, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, look forward, inhale, exhale, lowering down. So we're keeping those string poses between the asanas. So inhale, rock. Left leg, open, knee and navel away from each other. Look to your foot, smile perhaps, and exhale, full fold. Your belly button, your navel turning towards the straight leg. Your left knee opening out. 
what I'm facing this way, I'm doing a mirror image of you guys. Shoulders relaxed to your hips. So I'm really relaxed, you're drawn down to your hips, just behind your heart, your low trapeze is engaged there, so your shoulders back, your heart forward, maybe looking down or towards your toe. On inhale, rise. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Cross your legs the other way. Roll over onto your knees, lower your knees. Preparing, exhale. Inhale, lift. Straight arms, heel to your backside. And the other legs help, help you stay up here. Look forward, belly in, breathe. Last breath, three, inhale. Exhale, lower it down. Straighten legs. You're moving somewhere for these core strength poses. Inhale, bend your right leg. So reach your asana A and C. Remember what I say to reach your asana. So you're going to walk your foot out slightly, bring your left hand behind you. Inhale, raise your right hand. Exhale, fold in here. This can be enough, perhaps. Maybe hands the outside, available for you. Try and bind that shin. Extend your shoulder. Perhaps you catch your head behind you. So there's variations here. Maybe just leaning forward. Open your shoulders, open your hips. You deepen this pose, some weight in the foot. Maybe you're just folding forward here. Three, two more breaths. So there's compression in that right hip. Intentional. Folding over the left leg, straight leg. Last breath. Move to reach out and see. So inhale, rise, release. Walk that foot to your thigh or knee. Portion different here. Inhale, rise, raise that left hand. Exhale, up the knee or elbow on the outside. Nice and tall, inhale and exhale. Turn facing over your rear shoulder. If you look forward, you don't overly think you have to have your elbow on the outside. If you have a tall, you know, for femur bone and short body, and you find you're trying to do some shoulders and your ears, just wrap your arm around your leg, create this tallness to your heart, and in time, as you become a twist, that's your turn. A couple breaths. When you inhale, look forward, exhale, release. A little last of it. Bend the post, inhale, cross your legs, favorite leg on top, onto your knees. So you're going to try and lift everything, you know, blocks, if you choose. Intention here is to lift, so don't start the arms straight, bend forward. The last leg, a pendant pose, so rocking like a pendant. So to get there, you're going to fold over, draw belly in, knees up, heels into your sitting bones. Let's engage and inhale, lift, exhale, one, two more breaths. Here we go, inhale, exhale, two, try and straighten your arms, inhale, exhale, lowering down. Reach your asana, A and C on the left side, bend your left leg. Feel and toe your foot out, right hand behind you. Raise your left hand, exhale, fold. Once again, this could be where you, where you are. Be deep. Touch your bind and catch. You don't allow that leg to flop. You don't over engage it. Just knee to the ceiling, but relaxing both hips. Extend your heart forward. Open your shoulders. Open your hips. A couple of breaths. Last breath. On your inhale, rise. Exhale. Release, walk your foot in, maybe to your knee, lower the knee perhaps. Same variation as the right side and the left side, inhale, exhale, lower the knee perhaps, or elbow on the outside. Engage your belly and torso, lift your heart with the inhale, with the exhale, turn, and look over the rear shoulder, away from the screen. So inhale tall, exhale deepen perhaps, few more breaths. Belly in to create tallness, shoulders towards the floor, straight leg, lightly engaged, don't forget about the straight leg. Double breath. In 
inhale four, exhale release. I'm going to put all that together in something to name the vinyasa. So perhaps blocks if you have them, if not, you use your hands. So it'll be, I'll just demonstrate. So inhale, we're going to raise your legs, cross, close it. Perhaps you lift. It may look like you know, you're walking like a duck through, perhaps stepping back if you can. You create this lift, fall through into that luster position as you bend, make the chaturanga. So I feel, but do what you can and let's all do it together. So coming on the floor, perhaps blocks or not. Inhale, cross legs, lift. Maybe you roll over, maybe you walk your feet, step back. Chaturanga. Inhale to your upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Come back to seated. Walk, step, or jump. So maybe these are just one leg, the other, sit, or jump through. The bus and the boat pose. So inhale, <coughs> raise your feet, raise your hands. Option to keep your feet on the ground. You've got a nice torso here. You know, take pressure at the back. Hands under your knees, shins can be parallel to the floor, they can be straight. Heart up, a light internal rotation of thighs. Last breath, inhale. When you exhale, cross your legs, roll over. The last one just for breath. Okay, inhale, lift everything. Exhale, lower. Come back down, Navasana, inhale, turn the rotate, heart up, four more breaths. Listen to the breath, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, cross your legs the other way, roll over, you can use your hands to come over, narrow knees, fold, inhale, lift, heels in. Exhale, lower. Do your best. Don't lift up the floor, that's fine. Building strength. It's for the health and maintenance for the body's life. That's what you're doing. So don't worry about attaining those goals. Give them less importance. The fact that you're on the mat, moving, more importance. One more breath. Inhale. On your exhale, lower. What's in here going to have props? Perhaps this will be the extra height. Inhale, raise legs, cross, actually through. Maybe you walk, maybe you step. Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Then knees, look forward. Inhale. Actually jump through. The blocks, so it's nice and easy. Barakanasana. Have some height. I like a blanket, block, soles you fit together. Cobbler's pose or butterfly pose, often called. Stir them up, chin down. So back your neck to the ceiling. Tall. I'm on a blanket. So, not posterior, not anterior tilting here. Not posterior tilting, so it's anterior tilt forward as you lengthen your heart. Tall. Lower your knees to the floor. Two more breaths. Last breath. Inhale, raise his chin, look forward, and exhale, fall forward. Could be a millimeter, a centimeter. Try and create a long spine here. Shoulders relaxed. Belly towards your feet, not your head. Look a meter or two forward of your feet. Don't over engage your back of your neck to create some length. Top of your head reaching. Your knees apart, your comfort. A few more breaths. Last breath. Inhale, rise. Remove your prop. So those two asanas were extension of the spine, the flexion of the spine. So now posterior tilt, lumbar spine. Serious tilt, thoracic spine, the cervical spine. And maybe you're up high, maybe you're low, perhaps. Just a natural flexion, don't force this. There's some effort in your asanas. There's some relaxing here as well. And it's this effort, 
through the practice, giving yourself health and maintaining the body, preparing for the deeper practice of sitting and meditating one day. In my life. Exhale. So it again. Inhale, raise, lift, pull, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale to down dog. Walk, step, come through to Tadasana. So from your left spot. On a prop again, that's your blanket. Once again, interior tilt of the hips, knees to the ceiling. Take a breath here as you engage, pubic bone down, stand up. Look slightly forward and exhale, folding. Feel the length in your spine rather than the round. Engage your knees to the ceiling. Couple more breaths here. Wherever you are, that's your pile. On your inhale, rise. Your next inhale. Exhale, come off your prop. Blanket back. Raise your hands. Gauge belly. Inhale, lift feet. Catch your feet, perhaps. Maybe you're catching your knees, your calves. Engage, perhaps. Lift. After sitting, so whenever you've available for you, for your body, shoulders relaxed, just floor, arch to the ceiling, look slightly forward, up slightly up. Three, so belly in to raise your heart to the chest, the sternum to the ceiling. Last breath. And inhale, three feet together, hands to the floor. So sit and breathe here if you're warm, otherwise, inhale, lift. Cross legs, easy version, roll over knees, lift, exhale, walk, step, jump back to Chaturanga. Inhale, up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Bend knees, look forward, easy way, one leg, the other. Sit. Inhale. Exhale. Come to your back. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, to your back. Oh, back bend, so bend your knees, heel and toe your feet to the outside of the mat. So the hip is part, outside edge of your feet, parallel to each other, roll your thighs in. So open your lower back, engage your belly, lengthen your back. Think of your sternum open, opening when you raise. So feet into the floor, inhale, raise, engage quads. You can hold the outside of your mat, and you place your fingers, so it's half bridge, lengthen. Chest to your chin. Three, two more breaths. So two, inhale, gently releasing your hands, fluttering down, take a breath. Maybe you rise and forward. So we can do three more back bends. You can repeat these three more times. Perhaps that's enough for you. Perhaps you choose to. Come um, lift with your legs and onto your head here with some weight in your hands. Do that three times. Or if you don't, put down your asana, strong legs, hands, raise hips, hands, hands, and ceiling. So hands to the floor, hips up. But have your thighs rolling in to open your lower, your lower back, sacrum area, your belly in. Think of your heart. The sternum arching back and length on both sides of your body. So length in the front of your body as well as the back, not dumping it onto your lower back. So take a choice, make a choice which you're doing. I'll do those three variations just for you. Exhale, inhale, empty your, your back bend. Then you place your fingers perhaps. Then we spend our whole life forward folded in chairs, with electronic devices, the office, kitchen. Lounge. These back bends are quite therapeutic. But really engage with quads, belly, internally rotate the thighs to open your sacrum. The glutes are naturally engaged here 
and we'll wind up open out so you want to internally rotate thighs and feet, exhale lower down. Take a breath. Two more back bends. Then repeat all three or perhaps you know, go one deep you want to try perhaps. Set your hand beside your ears. Elbows to the ceiling rather than to the outside. So broaden your shoulders. Inhale, raise your hips. Lift, raise right your head. Five breaths. Take some weight off your hips so your hands are engaged. Three more breaths. This is your breath. And wait with your hands, reach into your chest, follow your shoulders, and you're up and keep the exhale, get the lowering down. Take a breath. Choose to sit out, have a rest. Choose any one of those three variations. So next inhale, prepare. Five breaths, one last back then. When you're ready, inhale. Last breath. Keep the chest, lower the shoulders. Gently knees, hold your knees, extend them out. Lighten your joint knees to your chest. Take a breath. Hands on your knees. Keep our rock to see it. Yeah, rock and rolling maybe not be good for your spine, so just hold the seated. Some of them have more protruding signs than others. A forward fold. Just release the back. So you can have your knees bent. Fold, forward fold. Or brush your muscles. A couple of 10 breaths here. <coughs> Come to your breath. Observe the inhale. Observe the exhale. Observe the expanding of the chest, the shoulder blades, the ribs, the upper abdomen, the lower abdomen, still lightly drawn in, and your pelvic floor awareness or lifted. Five more breaths. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release your hands to your waist to move your prop. Bring your knees up the top edge of your mat. So shoulder standing. Bring the other blanket. So a blanket. You don't need one, but if you have one or two or three, your head on the outside, shoulders at the top edge of blanket for shoulder stand. Options are to come into the hip bridge karate. You have a block or bolster or pillow under your hips and just enjoy this position here. You come higher. Just enjoying this position here. Or into supported shoulder stand, nice and high, head and small and back, lifting feet to the ceiling, center there. You find that your neck, C7, protruding neck, pushing to the floor. You don't stay up, you have more blankets or retreat pressure off your neck. The light internal rotation of thighs, you look up. And feet lightly extend to the ceiling. Couple of breaths here. Take an inhale. On your exhale, bring your feet over your head. Or halasana. If your feet don't touch the ground, keep your hands on the small of your back. Feet touch the ground, flex your feet, release your hands, maybe interlace your hands, engage your quads, lift your hips to the ceiling, belly in, a few more breaths. The finishing sequence here, so we're slowing the breath.
and here you cover up in muscular, bring your knees beside your ears or onto your forehead, point your toes, feet on the floor, that's about it. Put your hands, palms down, using those brakes and gently roll down. And we meet the people that are perhaps resting their hips onto a pillow or bolster or block. Move that block if you have one there. And gently lowering down, you bend your knees, take pressure on your back, straighten your legs. Come into what's the awesome fish pose. So bring your elbows, bring your weight up to your elbows, look forward, just let you check out the surface of the beach. Raise your heart, you tilt back, bring your head on the floor. If you don't touch the floor, bring your hands closer to your feet. Engage your belly in quads. So that's the other way to touch your there. Lighten the load off your elbows so your quads engage your belly. Couple of breaths. Bring your weight back onto your elbows. Inhale, rise, look forward, and exhale gently, lowering down onto your back. We're coming to resting now, Shavasana. Relaxing here, you can have your knees bent. Open your shoulders, hands to the ceiling, palms to the ceiling. Maybe you place a blanket over the top of yourself, perhaps. Legs can be straight. Shoulders open. Biceps roll out. Hips relax. Feet naturally flopping outwards. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Gentle, soft breath out of your mouth. Again, inhale. Next, I'll stay here for a couple minutes. Allowing your shoulders just to open. Natural quiet breath. Then we're engaging of the belly or belly floor. Lying on your back, you can stay here for as long as you choose, another five or ten minutes if you want. If you're coming up, moving some movement to your body, or moving your fingertips and toes, wrists and ankles. Choose gently, raise your hands over your head for the stretch. Perhaps hug your knees in, twist, bend, or a stretch. If you've got the time, stay here for another five or so minutes. If you must, I'll rest it. Come up to see the raise your hand over, right hand over your head, roll over to your right side, rest your right ear onto your bicep, 
bend your knees, just, just get a few breaths on your side. In your own way, bring yourself up to a seated position of your choice, sitting up nice and tall. <coughs> Bring hands in prayer position. Chant Om. Om. It's pronounced, it's spelled A U M. Chant it as O M. Om. The meaning of it is the A is the awakened state of the mind, the U, the sleep state, the M, the sleepless, the dreamless state, and then the quietness after the Om is the transcendental state. So it's about. Inquiry into mind and consciousness into mind with this yoga practice. Wherever you are, take an exhale. Get the old inhale together. Oh. online classes here at Tongs Gym now, starting this week, and tonight at 5.30, tonight another class, I look at the uh, roster and come back next week. And any questions, you can pop them online, we can ask them for you, have a lovely day, enjoy, see you tonight. So, serious.